Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP 15 notebook laptop. The exact model is an HP 15-F039WM. That information can be found at the bottom of the laptop, right in the sticker right here. Right by the serial number it says model, right there. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can replace and upgrade the RAM for this laptop. It is really simple, you can do it at home. And I'm gonna go over the tools and the process of doing it. First thing first, by upgrading the RAM, you're not gonna change any modification in the system or configuration, it's not required. All you need to do is to power it off, grab yourself a screwdriver set, or use the fixed screwdriver set. From here, we're gonna use a Phillips number zero. If you get the process, I will include you with an opening tools. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick and metal guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. Remove this and this screw. The screws do have a little C-lock. The C-lock on the other side of the screw is a tiny metal bracket that prevents the screw coming out entirely. So you just pretty much have to rotate it and then do that on the bottom side. And the C-lock helps it to push the cover away from the palm rest or bottom cover. So what you wanna do, you put the opening tool there or your fingernails and then pull the cover backward, just like that. And right away we can see that this laptop has one RAM DIMM only installed. So the RAM jack is installed in here and the second RAM jack, they haven't installed it. So I'm guessing for because of the model on the next model, they actually installed the jack and the components that is required. It's simply people that, oh, can I just solder a new jack? It's not gonna work because there's a, other component that you need to be installing it beside that. So in this model, you can only have one RAM DIMM upgradable. So to upgrade or remove the RAM, it's really simple. To remove the RAM, all you need to do is to pull these two triggers away from each other, just like that. And the RAM will come up in 45 degree angle. And all you need to do is to slide it backward in the same 45 degree angle. And there you go. These are a DDR3 RAM. You can put a single 8 gig in here. So this is a 4 gig. You can remove the 4 gig and place a 8 gig. Make sure it's a DDR3 L. L stands for low voltage. If you want to go 8 gig. So you want to bring it down in 45. Make sure the notch on the RAM matches the notch on the DIMM. Bring it down in 45 all the way inside the jack. And then all you want to do, you want to simply push it towards the mother one. And this triggers automatically open and close and they make a nice click sound. That's what you want to do. Once you put a new RAM in there, all you want to do, put the bottom cover in, squeeze it down, and then put the screws on. Once you power on, you might want to wait up to five to 10 seconds sometimes for it to do RAM check. You don't need to remove the battery to do this process. It's absolutely not necessary. And that should be all. And I hope you guys liked this video. If you did like it, click the like button and subscribe to support the channel. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.